friends, welcome. Today I am doing a project life spread for Scrapbook Nerd and I am using the beautiful and wonderful Cray Paper Magical Forest collection. I love this collection. Um, I know it's not everyone's cup of tea because maybe because of the colors, they're kind of autumn-ish or uh, the little characters, but honestly, I love it. It's been working for so many different types of layouts and spreads and memory keeping and happy mail for me. Um, I think the little creatures are actually really, really cute. I, yeah, I think they're cute. Um, maybe it's because I'm um, working on documenting a lot of uh garden photos and stuff like that. You can see there in the top right, um, I'm wearing a little uh, apron that says plant lady and I'm going out to my garden to get some vegetables. So maybe it's because of that. I don't know. I love it. I love the colors. It is interesting to me that they release this collection in the spring rather than fall, but I'm obsessed with it either way. So I don't care. I think this collection is so cute. So if you want to get your hands on this, make sure to check out the scrapbook nerd website. Um, so I am simply just taking different pieces of paper, scrap paper or paper from the six bay paper pad and slicing them up to fit in this page protector. Um, yeah, I don't usually use uh, actual Project Life cards. I normally um, just cut up pieces of paper and that works so well for me. So um, and it's, yeah, an easier way to do it and you're not spending money on Project Life cards, you're making your own and you're using up all of your scraps, which I love. Um, like I said, the colors in this collection are just so beautiful. I don't even know, is that coral? Is that salmon? I don't know what color that is, that pinkish color, but I love it. I love these blues. I love the nature feels of this collection. It's so fun. So uh, now I'm going to start the fun part, the embellishing. And now that I've picked out all my papers, I kind of kind of tried to make it even. Um, I have that salmon color in the top left and the bottom right, and then have the blues and greens spread out amongst the page. Um, there's my cat coming to visit. <laughs> um, so yeah, I um, I also used that strawberry paper, which I love as well. I hope to use that strawberry paper more when I am documenting more garden photos. Um, if you've seen in my previous post for Scrapbook Nerd, you would have seen that I did two scrapbook um, layouts that were for a baby shower, and this was the perfect collection for the ba a baby shower as well. It truly really was. Um, so this is such a versatile collection. I love it. Um, I love these little branches and things and twigs that are, they look like I drew them on the page or something. Um, I think those are really fun. And then I am obsessed with these glitter hearts and stars as well. Um, here I just kind of sped through it, but I outlined, um, the Project Life spread and then I outlined the word silly, just kind of all make it go together. Um, and yeah, I just think it has a lot of really cool elements and it surprised me with how much I love it, especially the clear stickers. I don't usually love clear stickers, but, um, I just love how it looks hand-drawn and I know Crate Paper's All Heart Collection had something like that as well and that's where I really started to like it, how, it, yeah, it looks like you just doodled on the page and I'm obsessed with that. So that's pretty cool. Um, and I'm trying to keep some things consistent, so I am going to use um, some of those glitter stars and hearts on a lot of the cards, and then I'm also going to use um, the same thickers throughout, and um, I'm also going to outline some of the cards throughout so that it is as cohesive as possible. I was trying to put that little bow on the squirrel, but the bow was too big. <laughs> um, yeah, this this card, this this paper was a little bit busy, so I tried to tone it down a little bit. Don't know if I was successful in that, but that's what I attempted. Um, these little pictures here, when I printed them out, I actually... So I made them to... I have a Canon uh, selfie. That's what I used. 
and I, um, I made it so they had, they printed with a white border, uh, but the border, um, at the bottom and top and the, and the right and left side, I print, um, two, two by threes on a four by six. So the top, bottom, and then the right of one photo and the left of one photo is usually, usually has like a bigger, um, white border. So I just cut it so that it almost looks like a Polaroid. So the bottom is like longer. And sometimes I just, when I actually put the spread together, um, I just snip it off, but I thought it looked nice here with the three little Polaroids or at least Polaroid mock. <laughs> Um, so this is actually from last June, which means I have a lot of catching up to do, <laughs> which is not good. I have lots of catching up to do. Every time, like, I feel like I get further, um, I was finally into June, and then I was finally into June 2019 documenting, and then it became June 2020, and I'm, like, just constantly a year behind, but <laughs> um, I don't take too many photos so hopefully it'll be pretty easy for me to catch up um, but yeah as you can see I'm using the same thickers here to kind of bring it all together and um, your eyes uh, go from the top of the page to the bottom of the page and it looks all cohesive um, that shaker pocket I actually made the other side of this spread um, a while ago and so I think um, so that shaker pocket was done from the last spread. I hope that makes sense. I'm trying to explain it right. Um, so it doesn't quite coordinate with this spread, but I'm totally okay with that. It does not bother me. Um, it's some kind of embellishment on the other side of that white circle, but I don't, I don't know what, uh, I don't know. I can't really like undo it and then put something on the other side of the white circle. It's just one of those things where you don't really think of it ahead of time, but I'm totally okay with just having a white circle. Oh, well. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is a lot of um, outdoor stuff and family time. The top left picture is me and being silly, and I send that picture to my husband, and then the top right photo is collecting some veggies from my garden. The middle photo on the left is from a book club I was a part of at the time. The next photo is um, our last jar of tomato um, sauce from our garden. We had pizza. We were celebrating birthdays. I was outside reading. But yeah, that's it. If you want to check out more, go to the Scrapbook Nerd website and have a great day. Bye.